Minister of Education Katrina Hanse Himara's response comes a day after teachers and students threatened to demonstrate, demanding for the immediate release of available teaching positions in 2018. The Teachers Union of Namibia yesterday accused the Ministry of deliberately and purposefully delaying the publication of the bulletin to sabotage the education sector by overstaffing teachers while closing the door to new graduates. But Hanse Himara says such allegations hold no water. Uh, that should be reconciled with the fact that we have got a lot of very important processes and uh, activities that we are doing within the ministry. The minister said that the vacancy bulletin should be announced by the end of October after the staffing needs have been consolidated and endorsed by the executive and ratified by the cabinet secretary. Now these findings compelled us as a ministry through our executive to ensure that we make efforts to reduce the initial staffing needs as advanced by our regional officers and in this regard. She says while her ministry recognizes the inconvenience that the delay might have caused the sector, she stated the delay was necessary for the ministry to verify profiles of the staffing norms with its regional officers for purposes of quality control and accountability. Non-filling of the management positions at schools on permanent basis except for principal post, the vacant positions for heads of departments will now be filled only on acting basis until we have cleared all issues. Katrina Hanse Himara calls on all education stakeholders and consent parties, including unions, to first consult her office before making public pronouncements without facts. I'm Daniel Nadunya for NBC News, Vandhoek.